Hey guys, we're back. My pies are out of the oven. And this one's a little darker than this one. This is my pumpkin pecan pie. And our drizzle, our chocolate salted caramel drizzle is on the stove and I'm going to get it. I just wanted to show you guys. Now, let me get the drizzle. So with the oven being on, I turned off my fire a while ago. It's still really melted. So we're just going to drizzle that on the pie. I don't know, it's kind of clumpy, but <laughs> that'll work. Yeah, we're just going to, I'm just kind of shaking it around. I, I guess maybe even with a fork it would work maybe even better. I don't know. Let me grab a fork and see. A little bit of trial and error just to see what will work and what won't work as well. All right. Got a fork. I don't know. It's like melted, but there's clumps of um, salt and caramel or something in there. It makes it nice and crunchy. I'll just stick to my little spatula. This is going to be so sweet, you guys. So this darker one is the one that I overfilled. And this lighter one. Oh. just looks amazing we're gonna try some you know they say to let it cool for you know like 12 hours or something well I just had them outside um, cooling so I think maybe that's the cheat sheet <laughs> just cheated by, I don't know, I'm just smearing it on. I just cheated by, you know, I don't have no more freezer space or refrigerator space. If it's nice and cool outside, I'll just stick it outside. I'm going to cut a piece for Brian and give it to him. a trooper okay so there we go it just looks nice and glossy see does that look good okay let me get a knife I'm excited I'm gonna have a knife over here what did I do with this? Oh. It's a little plastic knife here. So, see how this is going to turn out. You can almost cut this with like a pizza, pizza pie. Better. Make sure I got that crust. There we go. I have got some store bought Cool Whip in there. That'll go perfectly with this. Look at that. It almost looks like a cookie. <laughs> Look at that. Here, let me just get you closer. Look at that. 
shiny, chocolatey gooiness. Okay. Yum. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to get some Cool Whip and um, dress it up a little bit. I'm just, I'm short and I can't reach the plate, so I'm going to get a paper plate. I have these nice stacked paper plates down here. I don't know if you can see this, but my hands are getting all mm, chocolatey. Mmm, crunchy. That's the stuff on top. Let me get some Cool Whip real quick. And I'm so sorry, you guys. I apologize because I, I made a live video and I turned it sideways. Because before when I was doing videos, I could turn it sideways and it was no problem. But now that I turn it sideways, I'm actually sideways so anyway cool whip let me get a spoon okay brian isn't in here so i think i'm going to take the first bite <laughs> Boy, it just takes a little bit of cream and chocolate to make me smile, right? <laughs> Here it goes. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. I think I put a lot of cream on top. But it tastes really good. It's almost like a tart. It, it's a pie shell, but it's really small. So it's not too sweet. You're not getting too much in one bite. Mmm. You definitely get the crunch on the top from the chocolate drizzle. That is really good, you guys. You're going to have to try this. Now I'm going to cut a piece and give it to Brian and see what he thinks. He actually bought this um, candy bar for himself and he's like, oh, I don't like it. Here, you can have it. And I don't really like to eat chocolate on its own. So I said, well, I'll use it for a chocolate drizzle on the pumpkin pie. So that's what we did. But see, look at it. It's not too thick at all. See how it's got the chocolate on top? And then you get bites of pecans in there. We put some whipped cream on for him. Okay, so let's see if he's willing to join us or not. I'll be right back. What? If you're ready to come join, they want to. They want you to try it. Just a bite. Okay, my test. My tester is here. Does it have chocolate on it? Yeah. Okay. I mean, there's a big piece right there. If you don't. Want the smaller piece, but I figure Stefan would probably like it. You see the, the crunchiness? Mm -hmm. You think that's too big for Stefan? He's not having any tonight, he's already in bed. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's really good, honey. Thank you. You it's like a crossover? it? Crossover? It's your crossover. Awesome. <laughs> Say mm -hmm. hi to the. Um, hi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you only got your hand. <laughs> that's okay. Mmm. Well, he 
he's eating it, you guys. He just does it. I guess he's a little camera shy. I don't know since when. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. That's it, you guys. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to try and get another thing going. I just don't know what at this point. Oh, you know, I do know what. Um, so tomorrow, I just went through my fridge and I've got some day old bread. And so I'm going to make scallop tomatoes casserole. So I have all this bread that I got to use. Old day old bread is good for that. All right, you guys, that's it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, take care of yourself and take care of each other.